Hello and welcome back. I was quite busy these last weeks with the school. I had tests and all that, so I really couldn't do any tutorial. And now I'm back with the first video in which I will show you some easy way to speed up cycles. Okay, and now first, if you haven't done it, I'll just choose cycles render, and I'll start showing you some quick ways to speed up cycles. First. Uh, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows it is reducing the samples or increasing it how you like it for a better view okay just basically this means that you must choose a adequate, adequate number for your render if you have it too small it will become noisy and if it's too big it's just uh, you know, it's not good to be too big because it will render, because it will look anyway good, and the render it will be not necessary. Okay, and one tip, one tip though that that I can give you on these samples is uh, be make sure it's not zero here on the preview because because in render mode it will render continuously if you have zero in there in here so just choose like 10 or something like that because you don't actually need the big sampling when you preview it okay that was the first tip and I'm pretty sure you already know it you already know it and the second one that I'm gonna give you is about light bounces so what are these these are actually the number of times the light bounces and you can just reduce this number in here and uh, the rendering will be a lot faster uh, you could just choose a direct light when you edit it and use render mode it will make make it a lot speed speeder okay and just select these bounces to be like lower than 5 basically and then when you render it you could just choose full global illumination and it will look nice but uh, basically you don't actually need that much that many bounces I think that you know five bounces or uh, up to eight I think it's it looks very nice and you don't need that ma many lab bounces uh, actually this depends on your on your image but five it's usually good okay the next tip that I'll give you is about tiles yep tiles what are those let me just show you I press F12 and you can see this like these squares in here uh, that load when you render these are the tiles and changing their number actually affects the rendering time um, I would advise you to keep in here a number that divides with 2 so something like 8 or 16 or 256 you know 512 or 64 you know something like that that divides with 2 it would be better because your computer can handle it handle uh, better the numbers that divide with two okay and uh, usually if you render on your CPU it's better to have a lower number because it renders faster and if you render with the GPU you can just choose a bigger number because it it will usually render faster but you can just do a test on your computer and see how that affects the render time you know is is different on each computer so you would rather check it out okay these are just some simple and quick ways to speed up your rendering and thank you for watching there'll be some new tutorials coming up and see you next time